Good morning, Emmanuel. Happy Wednesday. My name's Steve Horn. I'm one of the leaders, Emmanuel, and it's my privilege again to look at the Word of God with you. And we're staying with Romans. Uh, I don't know if you got to hear Ruth yesterday. It was fantastic. And we're following on uh, from where she got us to yesterday. And we're going to verse 21. I'm going to read from the New Living Translation. Is this how you feel this morning is the question. It seems to be a fact of life that when I want to do what is right, I inevitably, inevitably do what is wrong. I love God's law with all my heart, but there is another law at work within me that is at war with my mind. This law wins the fight and makes me a slave to sin that is still within me. Oh, what a miserable person I am. Who will free me from this life that is dominated by sin? Thank God the answer is in Christ Jesus our Lord. So you see how it is, in my mind I really want to obey God's law, but because of my sinful nature I am a slave to sin. Um, there's a lot of discussion argument with commentaries around who Paul is speaking as in this, whether it's someone who knows Jesus or someone who doesn't know Jesus, whether it's a Jew or, or a Christian. But I think we all, whether we know Jesus or not, identify with this tension in our lives that we just want to do the right thing. And yet we constantly disappoint ourselves. It talks about here of being a battle with the mind that somehow we get duped in thinking, well, I I still want to sin, so let's sin. And Paul is sort of pointing to a much better way. I'm going to read in that ESV now um, his his next one. So there's a wonderful, there is therefore. So again, because of this wrestle, but because we know Jesus has won it for us, this is what we're going to read now. It says, um, there is therefore no condemnation for those who are in Christ Jesus. For the law of the spirit of life has set you free in Christ Jesus from the law of the sin and death. For God has done what the law weakened by flesh could not do by sending his own son in the likeness of sinful flesh and for sin. He condemns sin in the flesh in order that the righteous requirement of the law might be fulfilled in us who walk not according to the flesh, but according to the spirit. So Jesus has set us free from trying again from that sense of I just can't do this. I was just looking at a story um, of Jimmy Greaves the other day who um, had to wait 20, 20 odd years, uh, for my 40 years to get his World Cup medal. He was injured uh, for the final of the World Cup. He played in and got us, helped get us there. But on the day he was injured, he could not play. And only the guys who played on the pitch got their medals that day, got to walk up. And uh, he had to sit there and watch Jeff Hurst score those goals, uh, goals that he probably would have thought I could have been there to score, but I can't physically. Um, and then 40 years later, he gets the medal. Now, I think on the day, Jimmy Greaves, even with his injury, would have been jumping up. We have won the World Cup uh, because he was part of a team and he saw as Jeff Hurst uh, scores that goal, that is us scoring the goal. And, and that's sort of what this is about is that when we see Jesus on the cross, when we see him take our sin and pay the price and say it is finished, we need to line up with the fact that we're on his team now and we have won the victory, that his victory is given to us. Uh, interesting, Bobby Moore, when they got their money for winning, he wanted it made sure that it was shared with the whole 22 of the squad, not just the guys who won. And that that's very much where Jesus is at. He's like, I've won this for you. For the joy set before me to know the love and the presence of God, to know freedom from sin, I will endure this for you. I will win the victory for you and you share in my victory. And, and that's what we do again this morning. So that's the truth. Um, and that's the wonder of this, that we don't have to struggle. And even when we do, even when we sin, and if you're sitting there going, I'm so tired of sinning, I'm so tired of getting it wrong. You need to know there is no condemnation in Christ Jesus. He, his victory, he lived the perfect life for you. He knew you were going to falter today, this week, this year. He knew. And that's why he endured the cross. Um, this verse very much reminds me of a, a, a saying. It's a, a, a saying that they say to John Bunyan. Um, my friend Nathan uh, once shared this with me of this uh, uh, this statement 
that is attributed to Giovanni, but I don't think it is him. Uh, it says, run, 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 the law, it beckons me, but it gives me no limbs. Fly, 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 the gospel bids to me and lovingly gives me some wings so I will fly. Um, this sense of freedom um, that the gospel, this gospel that we're hearing, that there's no condemnation in Christ, that Jesus has done it all for us. He has won us the prize. This is the gospel. And, you know, it gives us wings. It gives us ability to live a life without sin. As we pursue God and the enjoyment of the Holy Spirit and, and the fact that he has won the victory, if we live in that today, that I don't have to win today. It is won for me. That brings us wings. It allows us to believe that maybe today is different because of what Jesus has done. Um, I really encourage you to listen to this song. It's called Castaway by Fat Fish. You can look at it on Spotify or um, Google it, whatever you want to do. Um, I just want to read it to you because it, I feel for me it encapsulates. I want you to receive in your spirit what this song is saying this morning. Uh, look at me. I'm a castaway. Again, as we start this, I, there's no hope for me. I'll never get to the shore. I'll never, I'll never make it to live that day where I don't sin or I don't, I don't feel like I've done well for God. Um, it says, I'm, I'm a castaway. I'm somewhere I shouldn't belong. I was placed here yesterday and there's a man smiling at me saying, why am I here? When you are so holy, I'll never hit the mark. That's the problem, isn't it? We know holiness. We know what no sin looks like in Jesus. And we feel like it's so far away from us sometimes. But it says, I will never hit the mark. And he says to us, yes, this is true. My friend, I've done it instead. Run, 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 the law it beckons me, but gives me no limbs. Fly, 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 the gospel bids to me and lovingly gives me some wings. So I will fly, held on the wind of grace that teaches me to say yes and say no. So I will fly on eagle's wings. You're helping me to win the prize, but also your love in your eyes love in your eyes look at me now on the journey now the road looks narrow ahead but every time my head falls i feel a hand steadying me i said teach me lord that i am holy in silver and gold i must build he said all that i've started in you i will see to the end you know we will get to the end and it will be often because he carried us or he just encouraged us at the right moment that is your God, that is Jesus to you this morning, that he's helping you to win the prize, that he loves you and, and that you know the grace of God. There's a proverb I love that says, four things are wonderful for me. And it says an eagle in the sky and that image of a, a, an eagle just gliding on the thermals, not flapping, not struggling just riding the thermals of the air you know that is what we're meant to do today to ride the thermals of grace you can't fail today as far as God's concerned because Jesus has done it already for you so knowing that then what could you do if you're not a failure today if you started with an A what does that look like for you today knowing that actually I don't have to yield to sin. Today's a good day for me. Can you ride on the thermals? Can you ride on these, fly on these wings of grace this morning? I hope you can. I'm going to pray for us. Lord, I thank you for your gospel. I thank you. It sets us free from striving and trying to be good, but that we can hear your voice today say you are good. And you are loved and you are precious and you have so much to bring today. Just listen to me. Know when to say yes and when to say no by my spirit. Know that you have won a great prize, that you will see him in glory one day. As he broke the tape, you now follow through yourself. A co-winner in Christ. You've won life, even if you don't know it, but you have. And one day you'll know it fully. Lord bless you and keep them as they watch this now. Let them shine in you again in this revelation and have a great day. 
We ask this in Jesus' name. Amen.